All eyes on me, yeah. over the it's just like a circus. circus. Who wants to come taste test? <laughs> What's, What's up, up guys? guys? Welcome back to our channel. We're finally back with another cooking video. And we're cooking for our friends tonight. So we've got quite the array here. I'm gonna quickly break down all the ingredients. It's pretty simple. We are making Gigi Hadid's Vodka pasta. That. Um, hers is pretty simple, but I love me a good veggie moment. So we have zucchini, mushrooms, we have some green onions, we have garlic, and for Eldiana's, obviously he's vegan, so he's doing plant-based sausage and bell peppers. Bell peppers. <laughs> and then also what you are going to need is tomato paste, and we're gonna add some crushed tomatoes and some butter. Crushed red pepper. Crushed red pepper, heavy cream, vodka, little great goose moment. We have a sous here. Ready to take a shot? Yeah, <laughs> and while this is cooking, I'm gonna show you guys how to make crispy Brussels sprouts for like a little side moment. I'm soaking it in hot water with a lot of salt right now because I investigated it a lot, but you know, sometimes you'll get a little bug here and there and with the salty water, that'll help them like crawl out. And then when I strain it, all of that will come out. So we'll leave that for after. So we're gonna move you guys over to the stove and let's get cooking. That's gonna be too hard. I forgot to mention the main ingredient, which is your pasta noodles. I was in the mood for rigatoni, but honestly, to each their own. You can do whatever type of noodles that you want. Our water is currently heating up and once it comes to a rolling boil, I'll throw these in. So just a quick disclaimer. I'm basically taking all the ingredients, or majority of them, from Gigi's recipe, homie, and I'm going to kind of just mm, cook by taste, which is how I always cook anyway. Um, I just need to know the main ingredients and then I'm gonna kind of like throw it together. So, some of our guests, if you will, don't like veggies, so I'm gonna cook those separately and then just kind of like mix it in after. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this pot on. Got my best friend here. Okay, so I think this should be hot enough now. I'm going to add my olive oil. Just, mm, just a lot. Yeah, just a lot. Oh so yeah. Hot. What are you cooking here? The veggies. So I got my olive oil going in both pans. Gonna start this one right now. We are gonna throw in our green onion. Our garlic. Yum. I want to say I used about like nine cloves. Maybe ten. A bit. It splashed? It was splashed. That's good. Oh. Now you have a big water spot on your shirt. Okay. Okay. Well, so we have the zucchini, the shrooms. We're just gonna give them like a nice little caramelization, if you will. Okay, so our water came to a boil, so we're going to throw our pasta in. And these are gonna cook down for about maybe 10 minutes, so I'll check them. Perfect. I am ready to throw my tomato paste in. So I have four of these six ounce tomato paste. Dump this in. So I'm just gonna keep stirring this up. I added the crushed tomatoes because I wanted it to have like a nice hearty texture but the paste is really, really thick, so I'm just gonna keep stirring until it is well mixed. Purr. Okay. Totally forgot to add my salt in the water with the pasta, so I'm just gonna add about that much. Never too late. Maybe a little more, actually. If 
you guys know, like, I rarely follow a recipe when it comes to cooking exact because it honestly comes down to, like, how it tastes. Baking, you have to be precise. But cooking, you kind of just throw it together and keep tasting it and season as you go. Turning my pasta down because it's come to a boil, so I'm gonna just keep stirring it every now and then. So now for the fun part. We got some vodka and some heavy cream. And again, I'm just gonna add till it looks right. And we'll probably add about a shot of vodka. You just want enough for like the flavor. So one shot of vodka? Yeah. <laughs> one shot of vodka. <laughs> Maybe a little more for good luck. Take one for good luck. <laughs> Take it for good luck. Come on. Do it. Do Why are you it. Do you're it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Nah. Oh. Pussy. <laughs> I hate vodka. I'm a whiskey girl. You want me to grab a whiskey? No. I haven't eaten today. I'm literally going to fill up. Okay. So I'm going to add about that much. I'm going to stir and then obviously if I need more, I'll add more. Oh, Diana's chefing it up with our veggies. Ooh, they look so yum. It looks like it needs more, so I'm just going to add a little more. Oh. I'm going to add a little bit of this pasta water. Make it a little more thinned out because it is pretty thick. Added like mm, about a ladle full. I'm just gonna keep stirring this up. Okay, we moved angles so that you guys can see up close and personal. So our sauce is coming together. I think I want to add just a little more. We have our veggies almost ready. Actually, yeah, we can turn the heat off. It should be good. Here. Over here, we're gonna check on our pasta. Thank you. They look almost done, so I'm gonna take one out so I can give it a try. The best way to cook it is al dente. So, you want them still a little bit bouncy. I don't know how to explain it. Bouncy? Like, Chewy? Chewy. Yeah. Once they turn to mush, it's over. They feel a little too hard right now, so I'm gonna give it another minute or so and then we'll check back. But our sauce is looking right, so I'm gonna grab my spices and seasoning. We have Jesus on deck. Be the cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> so now we have this on the lowest heat. It's on simmer, because I'm basically just going to add some crushed red pepper flakes. Depending on how spicy you want it. Yeah. Not a lot of those. Depending on how spicy, I mean, I don't want to go too spicy because we have some of our guests are like, mm, pussies. Yeah, delicate, <laughs> if you will. <laughs> delicate. <laughs> okay, so that looks good. I'm going to add some salt and pepper. We have some fresh basil and oregano from the garden. Huh. I don't want to over spice it because like you said, we have some delicate palates over here. Mm -hmm. I actually probably should have caramelized that with the garlic and the onion, but that's all right. We're going to add a little sprinkle of Italian seasoning. Even though we have fresh spices, we're still going to add it. Might as well. Okay, maybe we should give her a little taste. Ooh, I got to check this shit. Okay, let's check on our pasta. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> We're just gonna give it a little taste test so we can see what else it needs. Mm. More salt. I feel like it's, yeah, I'm missing something. Mm -hmm. More salt. More chili flakes, huh? Okay, so I added some more salt, some more chili flakes, and now I'm gonna taste it again. Maybe a little more. 
that's why I like seasoning like to taste because you always yeah you can taste it and you know like what you need more of. <gasps> what? Broke his leg on the bone. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, so just be sure that you mix really, really good because if you keep adding spices, you just want to make sure that it blends all the way, especially because it's a, like a thicker sauce. It needs to be a little more creamy. We decided we need more creamy, so we're gonna add the rest of this. Purr. Honestly, I feel like that's gonna be perfect. Yeah. That's gonna hit the spot. It's always good to have multiple taste buds in your kitchen so everybody can give their opinion. And it's like a group effort, you know? That's the beauty of it. Okay, let's see. Can, can I borrow your hand? Yeah. Um, yeah. Being a hand model. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna add a little sprinkle of onion powder and garlic powder. <laughs> oh, the butter. We're gonna put like a big dollop of butter and stir that in. That's gonna make it nice and fat. I totally forgot to get regular Parmesan, but we have dairy free. So I'm just gonna throw some of this in there. And we're gonna throw in some mozzarella. Just gonna pour the rest. Oops, sorry. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to make crispy Brussels sprouts, which are so bomb. I did have them soaking in the warm, salty water. So I'm just gonna strain this and rinse it clean. Just gonna let that dry out for a sec. Okay, so let me just show you guys quickly how I prepared my Brussels sprouts. So you wanna cut the stem off like that. Then you have that, cut it in half, and it looks like that. So I do my investigations and make sure they look clean and bug free. I'll show you a few. What if there's a bug in there, what do you do? We give them all to you. Yeah. <laughs> and then I like to kinda take a few of the outer layers off just so you have those really nice crispy ones just like that and then we're gonna toss that into our bowl and re-rinse now we're gonna do a little transfer be careful purr just gonna toss her up Ooh, she's extra saucy so we are done with the pasta we're gonna put that on the side we're just gonna cover this for now while we finish our Brussels sprouts. Okay, so I decided I'm just gonna make half of these right now and I'll make the other half later. So what we're gonna need is some olive oil. I like to be kind of generous because that's what's really going to help it make it crispy. We have some garlic powder, some onion powder. Because I'm making it vegan, I'm going to use a vegetarian-based chicken flavoring. We're just gonna Sprinkle that in. And then of course we need some salt and some pepper. So because I'm eyeballing it, I kind of just use my best discretion for the seasoning, but I don't know, wing it. Yeah, so now you're gonna give it a nice toss. Evenly coat everything. If you don't mix it very well, you're gonna get like a very peppery piece or a very salty piece. So just make sure you toss it up very nicely. So the biggest trick to making these crispy is actually laying these out on a preheated pan, which is gonna be piping hot. You wanna preset your oven to 425. Okay, so you're gonna hear the sizzle right now. That's actually a good amount. So now I'm just spreading them out. You wanna try and get most of these like flat side down because they're not only gonna cook from the bottom, but also the top. Okay, so they're all flipped over. I'm gonna pop this back into the oven for about 15 minutes, but I am gonna keep a close eye on it because you do not want them to burn. So we're currently waiting for the brussies to finish cooking. So I'm gonna serve us some pasta so we can do a little taste test. Do you want a plain or cheesy bread? Plain. Okay. Also, we forgot to show you guys, we made some garlic bread 
we've got a little bit of a cheesy moment and oh thank you he didn't want that <laughs> it's okay though <laughs> I don't want it. Oh, sorry. Okay, let's do a little taste test. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, I can't touch mine with yours. How's it? Delicious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So good. Oh my God. You killed it. You killed it too. With moving skills. <laughs> Thank you. Good stirring skills. Yeah. A little product shot. Mm. Eldon has this vegan one. Can I try your sausage? Mm -hmm. I don't want to put oh. my fork in there. Can you put it with your fork? Just get it. You guys. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> there are so many DMs that we've all been getting. Like, I think there's, I think something, there's something going, going on between Jesus, Jesus and Eldiana. <laughs> I just got there one is. today. <laughs> yeah, that was so funny. Well, he just did take my sausage. Mm. Mm. This, your sausage is good, Eldon. It was a hit. 10 out of 10 for me. Mm -hmm. That was bomb. Came out fucking Cash amazing. Cass forgot this to put in hers. What? Her um. mushrooms. <gasps> You're kidding! Oh yeah. I'll do that right now. Nah, this shit's busting. Oh my god! <laughs> the chicken's in the freezer. It's so good. I like it better without it. <laughs> Excuse me. Dang, <laughs> we originally were gonna put some grilled chicken for That's our fine. chicken eaters. Totally forgot that, so everyone is forced to be vegetarian tonight. That's fine. But our Brussels sprouts just finished. Who wants to come taste test? <laughs> I would love to come taste test. I don't know if you want a reaction. You're the actor, Trevor. Let's try it. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. They're juicy. Mm -hmm. I want to crunch. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't give it so much. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna lie, the last time I made them, they were more crispy because I think I hit broil for the last like 30 seconds. But you know what? It was a little disaster in this kitchen for the last 10 minutes. So they're still good. But they're good. But they're not super crispy. But they're good. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. Really good. Perfect. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed our take on Miss Gigi Hadid's famous pasta. If, <laughs> if you guys make it at home, let us know how yours turns out. I ended up not even putting my veggies inside my pasta, so I'm just gonna eat them on the side and kind of like mix them in myself. But um, yeah, amazing. Definitely Delish. recommend. Delish. Let us know what you guys want us to cook next. And don't forget to give this a big thumbs up if you enjoy cooking videos. Please subscribe if you guys have not already and turn on the notification bell so you're notified when our next video goes live. Live. Thank you so much for watching. We love you guys so much and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Yay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You want to know what's funny? Is they literally make like pre-made vodka sauce like this that tastes just as good and all you do is like pour the sauce into the pasta <laughs> save yourself all that work oh really I mm. thank you like, yeah. I think